I, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a little bit of interesting news that's doing the rounds. And you may have heard me talk before on the channel about hidden features that Microsoft tests internally, mainly in the Windows 11 Insider program. So basically it's code that Microsoft hasn't unlocked yet officially in certain preview boards. And then at a later stage, when they do unlock uh, those features or that code, it then becomes an official feature that Microsoft does test. Now, before Microsoft does unlock the features officially, as many of you will know, and as I've mentioned previously on the channel, you can use a third-party app and tool called Valve Tool to get the job done and unlock those hidden features before Microsoft does. Now, it seems that according to a leak, Microsoft now has its own internal tool, which works very much in the same way as Valve Tool, and they are calling it Staging Tool. Now, if we just head over to one or two screenshots that have been provided by Zeno over on Twitter, yeah, we can see this is at one of two screenshots that has been made available, and this is uh, the Staging Tool, and yeah, we can see the name at the top, StagingTool.exe. They even give the uh, the version and the build, and basically. Um, it's unlocking a feature and can be used according to the leak by Microsoft to unlock those hidden features, very similar to Valve Tool as mentioned. Now how this was all discovered and was actually leaked by Microsoft by accident and with the release of the latest preview builds of Windows 11, um, which I have been posting on earlier today, the latest dev channel build and the um, pair of beta channel builds, Microsoft is running um, one of their bug bashes. So they do these bug bashes um, throughout the course of the year at certain intervals. Now, what happened is that users who are signed up as Windows insiders, basically with this bug bash, are invited to take part in these quests, as Microsoft calls them. And that's via the Feedback Hub app to help uh, test features and track down problems. And it is in some of these most recent quests um, with this uh, bug bash that Microsoft now by accident has basically given us a glimpse of this new feature, this unlocking a feature called, as mentioned, uh, staging tool. Now, if we head to uh, the actual feature that Microsoft um, is, is unlocking uh, that was leaked um, with the, their new staging tool, it's a new feature, um, sign in without password when my device powers on in the settings app. So obviously this is a feature now in that bug bash that Microsoft did unlock using the staging tool, as um, it is called, by the screenshots that have been leaked. And something else to take notice of is that they make mention here of moment feature. And if we just zoom in here so you can see it a lot better in the video. Here we go. Staging tool. There we go. And here it says enable the moment feature. Now, um, Microsoft makes mention here of moments and they haven't officially um, acknowledged any of these moment feature drops. So this is basically one of the first times you have actually seen um, Microsoft refer to an up-and-coming feature update as a moment feature. And something else to take note of here, they say enable the moment feature September 2023. Now that's very interesting because as I have been posting in September of this year, we are expecting Microsoft to start rolling out our feature update for this year for Windows 11 called the 23H2 feature update. And it's interesting to see that they have mentioned this, enable the moment feature, that could be moment four on September the 23rd. And if we just head back to the calendar, just to give you a brief example and overview of what I'm trying to um, kind of communicate here. If we head to September, the 23rd is a Saturday. And Microsoft does roll out their optional bug fix updates in the fourth week now of every month. So we are expecting Microsoft to start pushing out, most probably using a controlled rollout, the feature update starting with that optional bug fix update rolling out starting the 26th of September. So it's interesting that Microsoft mentions Moment for the 23rd. So they're obviously getting that feature ready um, on the 23rd to possibly start being released on the 26th because the Moment 4 update also referred to as 23H2, there's a strong possibility it will be rolling out uh, in that fourth week of September next month. So this is just another indication that Microsoft has mentioned Moment feature September 2023 
uh, using the staging tool.exe, and that's the ID that they've enabled this feature with, which they are now calling sign in without password when my device powers on. And that's obviously a new feature that Microsoft is testing, uh, so called internally. But just wanted to let you know that um, according to these leaked images that were provided by Xena over on Twitter, Microsoft has a very similar tool to Valve tool called staging tool, which basically they use um, to unlock those so-called hidden features or internal code, as we call it, on the channel. And as mentioned, um, this basically has been removed from the feedback hub since it was leaked. Obviously, Microsoft realized that it was an accident and that has been pulled and removed from the feedback hub since. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.